management and procurement assistance program called Small Biz Pro to keep your business organized, business ready, contract ready, and bank loan ready. Small Biz Pro is a three-in-one cloud-based business management, procurement, and market research. So we're back on the air. This is Gilbert Buchanan along with... Chris Del Mitchell. And we're on the Business Zone. And today we've got a fantastic guest here in our studio. Who do we have, Crystal? We have the current president of the Greater Los Angeles African American Chamber of Commerce, Miss Angela Gibson Shaw. All right. And we're very I'm very honored that she agreed to be on the show. We're, I know. we're thrilled to death. She, you know, there are many of us out here that just we're in the trenches doing yeah. our thing. Yeah. And so Black is one of those organizations, Recycling Black Dollars, and you have Vermont Slauson and, and the Black Business um Black Business or, or BBA, Black Business Association. Uh it's 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 work. It's definitely work corralling our people. Yeah. So I am very thankful that you agreed Thanks to be on the show. Thank you, thank you. And now, uh, Miss Angela, she comes with a vast experience of array of experience with small business outreach and community engagement. She was uh, she recently retired from AT and T, and she uh, did um, uh, what did you do there? Right, let's see, uh, governmental and philanthropy affairs in the Los Angeles area while managing mm-hmm. corporate relations. Relationships with the African American community, and then after she retired, she served briefly as the principal telecom consultant for Senator Steve Bradford. Uh, she is past chair uh, in Compton and Linwood and Culver City and Carson's Chamber of Commerce, and she's a resident of La Inglewood, which is a really new growth. Uh, spot in our community. Mm-hmm. Um, we want to make sure we stay present. Yes. <laughs> and she now sits on the board, um, serves on the board of the Inglewood Airport Chamber of Commerce. So welcome, Angela. Thank well, you. Well, one thing that you probably didn't see on the paperwork there is that Miss Angela Gibson is also a new member of the, the board of, com- a new commissioner with the County yes. of Los Angeles. Yes. Oh, so she'll be working you. with small businesses. Right. Yes. Welcome to the business thank zone. Thank you. Wow. I know, right? Thank <laughs> you. Come to join my tribe. Yeah, That's come what I'm join your about. tribe because we need you. Hey, Rhonda, and good to see you. Uh, Rhonda saying hello, Gilbert, and hey. hello, Angela. Hey, Rhonda. Rhonda <laughs> Sandiford was the, the, she worked with the Urban League. She oh, retired. Okay. Now she's oh, with yes. Celebrate Life, and now oh. she's consulting back with the Urban League. Oh. <laughs> we all come back around full yeah. Circle, especially when you care about our people. So, right. Angela, we are so happy to have you. Um, our topic today is about our small businesses and how we can elevate them and how we can help them grow. And and uh, Rhonda sending much love, yeah. okay. <laughs> much much love. So, um, and you've set in so many different capacities where you've interacted with our small businesses. Mm-hmm. Um, so, from those from that perspective. What has been some of our challenges and where do we go from here in order to make changes and to take our businesses to that next level? It don't have to. We don't have to get into it. <laughs> right. I think the premise really is the things that you guys talk about on your radio show is being ready, yeah. uh, being ready uh, financially, uh, being ready psychologically, yeah. being ready emotionally and just being ready for when that contract comes, as That's you right. say, to keep it, yeah. to be able to sustain it, right? Uh, it's it really is a hustle, and but I love the the, the hustle of being an entrepreneur. Oh yeah, but it definitely is a hustle. That's <laughs> right. It, 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 it takes is. special DNA <laughs> to make this thing happen. It sure does, and oh, so yeah. I love the passion that I see in the uh, businesses that come into GLAC. Oh yeah, and so they're ready to take that next step. They're ready to go to the next level. They realize now that they need support and assistance, mm-hmm. and they want to grow their business now. For some of the the viewers who are viewing this show and listening to the show right now, who've never heard of GLAC before, uh, can you tell them exactly what GLAC is? Sure. So GLAC is the Greater Los Angeles African American Chamber of Commerce, and it was created in 1999 by our chairman, Gene Hale, and some other businessmen that were wanting to put together a group of folk African-American businesses that would be able to advocate to compete for Los Angeles city contracts. Excellent. And so from that, it's really, really grown to 
becoming regional, uh, national. Our chairman, Gene Hale, was appointed by then uh, Barack Obama and sat on his Small Business Import-Export Council. He's also an appointee of the mayor and the governor. And just recently, uh, both he and I were, well, Gene's been on that commission for a while, but recently I was appointed to the Small Business Commission by a supervisor, L.A. County, Mark Ridley Thomas. Oh, that's great. Mm-hmm. That's phenomenal. Yes. And so we really that really gives us an opportunity to bring to the table of GLAC all the opportunities at the local, state, national, federal level of all of the opportunities. And so what we're doing is just really collecting those opportunities, the things that are going on right now, especially right now, unprecedented opportunities in our community. LAX, the Los Angeles World Airport, mm-hmm. there's a multi-billion dollar renovation going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that's right in the backyard of Inglewood, which is mostly a known black town city, I guess, if you will. And mm-hmm. Metro. And then, of course, yeah, Metro coming through, the Metro LAX uh, line. And then, of course, uh, I got a whole list to hear I want to show. Because I think it really helps. You know, when you say we, you need to get ready for business, yeah. like, uh-huh, yeah, what well, business? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. <laughs> right, <we> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So um, the, the Inglewood Stadium, of course, which is about a $2 billion build. The Crenshaw Mall just received permission to begin to redevelop, and it's going to be a $700 million oh, wow. redevelopment. And they're going to be calling this the Silicon South. You know, wow. you got Silicon Valley, yeah. Silicon Beach. Silicon Beach, So Crenshaw yeah. is going to be known as Silicon oh, South. I'm loving that already. I know, right? So yeah. we got to get ready. George Lucas just announced his museum that's going to be built in the Exposition Park area. Really? And so GLAC has met with those folks. And actually, on December 5th, they're having a big a small business outreach. So those that want to participate in the build of this George Lucas Museum, mm-hmm. his wife, Sister Melody Hobson, is going to be running it. Right. And oh. So she's bringing the best team in to make sure that this museum is all that it can be to the community and that there is a high level of participation from businesses of color. That's great. And of course, GLAC sits at the table to make sure that uh, African-American businesses are included, women-owned, uh, vet- veteran businesses are included at a high level. Mm-hmm. You know, of course, we want to see goals. We oh, want, it's not right. Right. more good faith effort, yeah. and we're going right. to try to get y'all some. We want to see <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> actually, when I work with uh, L.A. Community College District, mm-hmm. they talk about that. We call it good fake effort. Oh, it's right. not good fake. Uh, it's yeah. good it's fake. Because yeah. <laughs> right. they're really faking it. They're really not trying to provide opportunities for small businesses. They're just saying, okay, we have reached out to... 150 small businesses, but none of them was ready. So therefore, we can't provide them any opportunities. We don't want that anymore. We want to see legitimate opportunities. And one of the things that I really want to put out there, and I want all my audience to know that these propositions that we're voting on, that they pop up every election cycle and we vote on it, we're voting to tax ourselves. And part of that is that once we vote to tax ourselves, then they're going to provide opportunities in those projects that you right, just talked about. Right, that's right. Their projects measure M. That's mm-hmm. Metro. They're going oh, to be yeah. building stuff from now until next 40 years. Oh, right. Yeah. Measure H and HH that uh, address homeless. Yes. Uh, they're going to be, so there are projects and services that are needed to wrap around that yeah. uh, stakeholder. And then also the uh, governor's SB1, the whole mm-hmm. transportation funding. Yes. And Caltrans and that 12 cent gas tax. Mm-hmm. That all is uh, for monies to improve uh, projects and road way. Right. And so a lot of these projects now, uh, GLAC is wanting to sit down at the table with each of these folks. We're meeting with them. Uh, just got the meeting with the NBA because in February 2018, the NBA All-Star Games will be held in Los Angeles. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And so uh, if you go to their website, um, I don't have it right at my fingertips, but there is a place there you can go and register as a business. And they're looking for minority businesses. Really? There are many, many, many opportunities for catering and IT wow. and photo, all kinds Videography, of things. Videography, all of that week. stuff. It's a whole week of activities yeah. around the All-Star Games. Mm-hmm. We're even looking at the 2028 Olympics. That's what you we're know, talking about. We want to be about. dialed mm-hmm. in there. Because another thing that Gene really talks about is you've got to be there before the deal is done. That's right. By the time they announce that we mm-hmm. want to share with you guys what the opportunity yeah. These are, it's really a wrap. And mm-hmm. so what you're seeing now is just to offer show. But what you want to do is start getting ahead of it. Uh, LEUSD, mm-hmm. we recently were invited to uh, sit in on the Santa Monica Malibu Unified School District. It might be a little ways away, but still, mm-hmm. you know, there are contracts and opportunities right. that organizations such as ours are right. bringing mm-hmm. to our community to tell you, hey, let's go. Let's go get paid. The Port of L.A., the Port of Long Beach. And the other unique thing is that many of these projects are now designed 
build, mm -hmm. operate, and maintain. Mm -hmm. So through the life, it's not just we're going to go here and right. hammer in a nail right. or whatever, mm -hmm. but you can sit down as, at the architect level yeah. to help design it. Yeah. I know a brother that has a business, a lucrative business with Metro in the whole photocopy, and there's a way that he photocopies those plans. The plans and specs. Uh -huh. yep. The brands and specs. Oh, yeah. So that's in the design of it. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, the build in it. We're really, really working also with the unions, too, mm -hmm. uh, jobs, and, of course, in the build of Subcontractors is just crazy. The and with that comes the local there. hire programs mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. they have to hire 30% of the yes. people in the community. Right. And, and you know who's going to hire them? The people that get some of the smaller that's contracts. That's what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Because mm -hmm. that's one of the beauties of a black business is how it raises up the entire community oh, because yeah. that's who's going to hire in the community mm -hmm. right. when these jobs come through. That's where we got to, we, we, we're doing the recycling of the black dollars. Right. right. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. That's what gotta it is. Got to circulate. Mm -hmm. The whole cannabis industry. That's going to oh, be a yeah. multi billion. Where do we plug in? Because oh, yeah. when we last plugged in, yeah. we got in trouble. Yeah. Right. So we exactly. want to plug oh, yeah. in on an official uh, right. way. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and yes, and, and get paid for, for exactly. that. Uh, Dr. Dre and Jimmy Ivine just uh, announced their groundbreaking ceremony of an academy again that they're going to uh, build at USC over at Exposition yes. Park. And it's just lots and lots and lots oh, yeah. of, we're That's in the way phenomenal. of lots of opportunities. So what we're trying to do is put all this information together, meet with these folks to advocate for real participation mm -hmm. at, again, at the design the bill, you can either help operate it mm -hmm. and you can help maintain it, exactly. too. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. are lucrative contracts, too, yeah. those janitorial contracts. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so especially at the, those stadiums that are being built. So we sit down with these folks and advocate for pieces of the pod to the various and then bring that information back to our membership and then help them get ready. So now you know there's all this money out here, right? Yeah. Right. And so you're in a business and you got something, a service that you want to provide, but we need you to be ready now. So now we get you ready to go after these. Got to get them exactly. ready. Yes, exactly. right, right, right. And, and, that, and that's something, some of what, why we're doing what we're doing. So we're not just sending you to the SBA to fill out an application and then you don't know what to do with it because that's what happens to a lot of mm -hmm. our businesses, right? Correct. They, they just fill it out and they have the certification. Right. But they don't know how to yeah, then they don't know how to bid. What? They don't know what's who's next? out there. That's true. And so that's why Gilbert and I and said, let's sit down and let's make this happen. Let's let's do a hands on yeah. Yeah. and that's walk really them nice. through the process. Bring people in to, so yes. that you can have that conversation. So that this is real. Because what's interesting is most of our small businesses think that certification or contract business is just for the construction industry. Right. No, not at all. Not mm -hmm. at all. For instance, just being appointed recently to the L.A. Commission, one thing they say, they buy everything from paper clips to airplanes. Oh, yeah. And so if you sell it, they probably buy it. Oh, yeah. But you're right. You want to get certified. But they even talk about just at least get registered. That's what right. I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I mean, we can do certification later. Yeah. And, and if, you've right. got, if, you, if you've got your hustle right, yeah. they'll, they'll make sure you oh, get yeah. certified. <laughs> right. yeah. But exactly. they want you to register. They mm -hmm. want you to register. And so that's the kind of workshops that we have. We work with you guys yeah. all the time yeah. on workshops to get certified, uh, get ready, uh, teaming, joint ventures, yes. mm -hmm. business plans, working on capability statements. Yeah. Gilbert, we'd have you down there yeah. do, uh, do a couple of those. Southern California Edison is a great, great oh, yes. supporter of oh, yes. uh, leadership. Mm -hmm. and uh, capability workshops. Yes. And so we cover a number of subjects to help small businesses get ready. There is no other time like now to exactly. be a part of get a part of this pie with those projects in our community. Oh, yeah. Normally stuff is being built out in Hollywood and Santa yeah. Clarita right. and mm -hmm. all over the place, but in our backyards in Exposition Park on Crenshaw, on the other side of Inglewood, we have to participate. So we do all kinds of stuff. Networking. Our big our three main missions at GLAC is education through our workshops and our seminars, uh, networking, through our different mixers and opportunities that we have, and then and then advocacy. That's great. Uh, Jean and I are always at City Hall, writing city council, going down to the county to advocate on behalf of uh, opportunities. And again, like you said, not the good fake effort, mm -hmm. but we want to see in writing. For instance, um, while they were building, as they were hammering out the contract for the Inglewood Stadium, the mayor of Inglewood is adamant that there was a high number. I think it's like 25 or 30 percent of people that. that build that stadium and that work in that stadium must be of color. And they probably better be coming from around here somewhere, That's what too. I'm talking about. And so those prime contractors, all those, the big guys, yeah. the Walshays, then, mm -hmm. they have to subcontract with mm -hmm. all of us because they don't know. That's mm -hmm. right. They don't have access. They mm -hmm. can't get to those people. So they con con subcontract with regular folks that can uh, 
uh, employ the neighborhood and they can get some of those jobs done. So that's where we do a lot of work in, in our advocacy, always advocating on behalf of. See, that brings me to my next point, because many of the primes that bid on these projects mm -hmm. and they get awarded those projects, mm -hmm. they're not from here. Mm -mm. They're from out of state. They're from somewhere else. Now, they don't really know the landscape. So how are they going to hire a qualified or a certified business locally? They don't know that. I mean, they may get a list, right. but then they don't have a, a relationship with those small businesses. And that's why with us getting them ready, filtering them through GLAC, filtering them through the Urban League or other, com uh, other chambers of commerce and other entities is really what we need to do. And that also made for uh, uh, opportunities for consultants. There you and go. They don't come from not even, they don't come from the state. They don't even come from the country. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about. And bidding and getting this LAX to build, rebuild the LAX. Uh -huh. They don't even come from the country. And so they come and they need to know how, who's who at the zoo. Yeah. And so they hire consultants, me, you, you, exactly. you, and you, and you. Can you help me find some folks that can do this, 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 yeah. and that? Right, exactly. And we'll pay you through the life of this project. So there's work from A. And that's why we really need to get our guys ready, yeah. guys and ladies, ready to do this work. Right. And that's one of the reasons that um, we, the inspiration for the Business Zone, was to have this conversation. Absolutely. Because you have, a, you know, we'll get together and we'll have this conversation. Right. And if we happen to come, you know, those happen to come to a meeting at, my, at RBD or, or GLAC or anywhere else, and you may hear it. But then what about everybody else in Los Angeles right. that can't come to a meeting mm -hmm. or uh, they're working too hard and can't leave. Most of our small businesses can't leave their businesses because they don't have anyone to fill in for them, right? So this is the purpose of the business zone. And so we can have this conversation to make sure you're on the front side. Right. Before before yes, they start breaking right. Yeah, line. exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah, and so I know that you've had some of our partners here. We partner with, like you said, the BBA, Recycling Black Dollars Business Resource Group. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Vermont Slauson, yeah. Joe Rosan, exactly. uh, Gilbert Buchanan, the Business yeah. Zone, the Crenshaw yeah. Chamber, yeah. Yeah. the Definitely. SBA, all the supplier diversity people. You know, there are lots of folks of color that work at corporations. Exactly. And so they have an inside scoop, too. Oh, yeah. So right. that's all about that networking. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the networking piece that you do at these different oh, organizations. Yes. Can't forget NABO, the women's organizations. Yes. And right. then there are veterans organizations, too. So there's an association. There's so many benefits with plugging into an organization such as GLAC. Yes. Uh, yes. So that you can be in like company that, you know, we can band together and have a bigger voice to go advocate for our piece of the pie for this economic development. That's what it's all about. Excellent. What's going on right now. Excellent. Now, now go ahead, Crystal. You have a scholarship program as well through... We do. Through GLAC, right? We do. Uh, GLAC also has its own nonprofit, 501c3. It's called the GLAC Education Fund and Foundation. And what we do is every year we go out to the four inner city high schools, what is it, Crenshaw, Washington Prep, Dorsey, and some another one. I can't think of it right now. Mm -hmm. And through a competitive application process, we choose two students, high school seniors, from each of those four high school that are on their way to college and we give them scholarships. I like that. Oh, and those fantastic. that have kind of a business slant, those yeah. are, that's our focus that's too. That's great. We actually also have a business evolution program where we're mentoring one person at a time yeah. at GLAC through again mm -hmm. through a competitive process. Right. We pick one of our small members and mentor them and match them up with an intensive 12 month kind of mentorship program with one of our corporate members. Uh, we've had Honda, we had IBM, uh, we've had Bank of America, we've had Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo, and so what they do is take one of our small businesses, and for 12 months, let's take a look at your books, mm -hmm. let's take a look at your business plan, I like let's that. take a look at your branding, your business, your website, let me show you how we do it here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so just kind of, it's almost like a finishing school, I yeah. guess, if you will. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh -huh. And then help them with network, with access. Yeah. Here are some uh, folks, some contacts that may be helpful that could maybe use your services. Yeah. And so that, again, is a great program that we have, too. That's developing, remaking, upgrading one business at a time. That's Excellent. fantastic. Excellent. That's now, fantastic. for those of you who are just tuning in right now, you're watching and you're listening to The Business Zone with... Krista. And Gilbert Buchanan, your small business paramedic. This program is sponsored by Recycling Black Dollars and Small Biz Pro. And speaking about Recycling Black Dollars, Crystal, do you want to tell our audience... How many times the black dollar gets circulated in the community before it disappears? Six hours. 
Six hours. <laughs> Six hours. That's not good. Well, that is not in other, good. In other communities, it rotates around 17 times in the Asian community. I believe it's 14 times in the Hispanic community. Uh, and this is in a day. Um, so our dollar, I, I like to... Um, I like to equate that to so so people can really understand what six dollars six hours mean, right? right? So you go to your job, mm -hmm. you get paid in the morning at ten, mm -hmm. right? And then you get to go to the bank before four, mm -hmm. and you put it in the bank, a white bank, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then you go to the supermarket, Ralph's, mm -hmm. which is not owned by a black person. That's it; it's gone. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So. I just want small <laughs> businesses to think about these things because in other ethnicities and other communities, the dollars are staying, it's being circulated much, much longer than ours. So I want you to think about that. The next time that you think about supporting a business or providing a resource or a service, think about those things. It's very critical to the, the sustainability of our minority businesses. Mm -hmm. and, and I like to, the way I handle uh, recycling my dollars, because there are certain things in our community that's not available in our community. But if I'm going to go spend $100 at Macy's, then I'm going to find a small business provider that I can spend that, my, match that yeah. at, at another organization. Uh, recycling Black Dollars and I bank at Broadway Federal, which right. at one point was completely a black bank. And they, they uh, moved on and it's now a publicly traded bank. Uh, there are the others that are part of RBD, that bank at One United Bank. So my money is in a black bank. I make, I actually make my money from people that look like me. Mm -hmm. And then it goes back into the bank. And then I make sure that there's somewhere I spend my dollars. It goes back to people that look like me. Now, we're not, we're not just talking about this just to talk about it because we want to beat down on any particular entity. But I just want you small businesses to think about this. As a small business owner, you know you got to thrive. And the only way you can thrive is using money. How do you get money? Well, you need a line of credit or you need a loan. How do you get that loan or line of credit? Well, you got to go to somewhere. You got to go to a bank. What are they going to tell you? Well, you don't have a history with us. We're not familiar with you. What are your ratios? Uh, how long have you been in business? Are you certified? Who have you done business with? So these are all the questions that they're asking. So that's part of the reason why we do this business readiness, contract readiness, and bank readiness program to get you there. You know, we understand what ratios they're looking at. So we teach you what those ratios are so you can get ready. So these are some of the things that we really, really got to and, and that same information, you you know, at their meeting, at Glax meeting, at Recycle Black Dollars, we bring those bankers to our meetings yeah. to have these conversations yes. with you. One, so you can now see them close up in front and shake their hand and hopefully go back and sit down and have a conversation. Some of the things I find is very interesting when I talk to my clients and they are saying, Crystal, where can I find money? Because you get that, you mm -hmm. get that. Where do I find money? Yeah. Okay. So my first question is, first, let's look at kind of of business you have and what your collateral is before I even give you a, a, a referral. Right. And then I usually say, so have you gone to your bank? And they're like, my bank? Yeah, the place where you're putting all of your dollars. <laughs> yeah. Are you? Do you have a relationship with the bank that you have your money in? And they're like, oh, no, I just go up to the teller and do. No, you should have a representative. When I go to Broadway Federal, I don't care, any of the three branches. Hi, Christo. Hi, Chris, how you doing? The minute I hit the door, all three branches know me. And that's exactly how it should be. I have gone into banks before and, you know, I won't say their name. I'll just say the big three. You'll know who they <laughs> are. OK, I've walked into those banks and I'm trying to establish a relationship with the banker there. And then I go back next month, that person's totally gone. It's a different person. So now I got to start a new relationship. And it just keep happening like that every month. I said, you know what? I get tired of it. So then I went to another bank, which was U.S. Bank. Those guys are relationship banks. Yeah. Those guys, they keep their employees there forever. Mm. They don't get rid of them every other month who don't understand your business, they don't understand where you're coming from, your philosophy. So that's what I want small businesses out there to do. Establish a relationship with a bank. When you walk in a bank, if they don't know your first name, get your money and get out of it. <laughs>
And you know what, you guys, at GLAC, not only did we have uh, seminars and workshops with all of our banking friends, they're mm-hmm. all part of the membership, but we also had a couple of workshops this year that talked about angel investors. Yeah. Ah, UCLA yeah. hosted one, and there were a number of folks that came and talked about other ways to get money, mm-hmm. yeah. angel investors, and how to pick them, the GoFundMe yes. kinds mm-hmm. of projects, yes. mm-hmm. especially that look to startups. They want to give money to especially those that are technical in nature. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then uh, most recently, we also had a workshop that talked about alternatives to uh, regular kinds of right. banks. Mm-hmm. Uh, in our recent workshop on November 1st, you were there. Yeah. We had a brother that is with an alternative lending yeah. company called Lendistry. Oh, yes. And he had a really interesting take on uh, he gets money from investors mm-hmm. uh, and looks for a certain kind of uh, business to um, invest it in. But he says that he doesn't look at your FICO score right. and your mm-hmm. bank records and your tax returns. He says he looks at your social media page. That's what I'm talking about. Because if you don't have no friends, you don't have no customers. That's what I'm talking because about. he gives you some money, he wants to know how you're going to pay it back. And so he needs to see how you socially your interact network. at what level. Right. Your yeah. social worth. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. And that way he knows that he's got a better chance of making. So some real interesting alternatives to traditional banking. So. And actually, that's interesting you said that because I was reading an article from SB, uh, Esperian and they are collecting data and they were saying alternative mm-hmm. data and that's mm-hmm. where they're going mm-hmm. is to yeah. your social media yeah. outlets oh, to yeah. see, right. you know, what are you selling on your pages? Are you interacting with everyone on your pages? You know, are you just this obscure business that have no connection right. to anybody? Because there are so many businesses in our community that, that are afraid to have a Facebook page or a LinkedIn page. They think it's an invasion of privacy and no matter how you try to explain it, they're like, oh, no, 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 they'll know everything about me. No, it's a business page. It's not it really about, is. we don't want to know where you're walking your dog. We don't right. care about that. We don't mm-hmm. care about your babies or your grandbabies. Mm-hmm. You need to have a page that, uh, a fa- you need to have a carbon footprint right. on the internet. And if you're in business, you need to keep it clean. <laughs> yeah, you need to keep it clean. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I went to a meeting the other day <laughs> to meet with some folks who they wanted to talk about partnering with Black and I went to introduce myself and she said, oh yeah, I know I go with you. I mean, this is like some older, you know, other folks. And uh-huh. the, oh, okay, that's how you know, you know, you know. You can give me your resume, but I already looked you up. Well, right, and that's really what's happening. <laughs> well, actually, right. employers do that. I tell my students all the time: make sure if you're looking for a job, you better yeah. clean up Keep your Facebook clean. pages, mm-hmm. uh, make them private. If there's some other stuff on there that is your alter ego. Close that, shut that one down, make it super private, only have your friends have access to it, and then you have a personal a, a page, public page mm-hmm. that then talks about you and positive stuff. Right, and work those LinkedIn pages. <laughs> work, work, you have to really work your social media pages. Yep. Work right, you really and be mindful uh, of the work. kinds of things that you put out into the That's universe. Right. That Because uh, lots of people are looking for... To provide, you know, a blessing to you, but, you know, and but, so you want to have that, you know, I'm ready. And exactly. then that's the first place they're going to go. I do that. I mean, yes, if I yeah. need to know, I meet somebody, I need to know, you know, who you are before right. I do business I'm looking for somebody you. to do my taxes or I'm looking for something or this or that or whatever you do. You start surfing, yeah, social media. Yeah, you uh-huh. start, yeah, and then you ask for, for, for referrals referral. from friends and stuff. Uh, Leo Kablai said hello, oh, Angela. Hi, he Leo. says yes, hey. Absolutely. Uh, our, our special guest in the studio today is Miss Angela Gibson, Thank president. Y'all. Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> I just got married. So, Angela Gibson <laughs> Shaw. We new to that new last name. <laughs> but we both so, Shaw. We, <laughs> we just want to let you know, and she's a president of GLAC, which is a greater African-American uh, a chamber of commerce. And uh, they've got some great opportunities there. If you've never heard of the chamber before, I'd like for you guys to check out that chamber. Go check it out. It's an opportunity for you to access resources. And my my co-host on the show is... Crystal. And I'm Gilbert Buchanan, your small business paramedic. We're going to go ahead and take a break, and then uh, we'll bring up our next guest. So... Take oh, a break. We're going to give her a few more minutes because she has a minute coming. Yeah, let me get, tell you the website. Okay. Yeah, we, we, when, when we, we come back from break. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that when back. we come back from yeah, break. Yeah, because you got All a right. Christmas event coming up. And... Take a break. Yes. Yeah. Hello, meet Larry. Larry is a general contractor. Larry is very good at his craft, but Larry has a very tough time managing his paperwork because he is busy taking care of his clients' needs. Larry just cannot find his important business documents when needed. 
Larry is also being passed over for bid opportunities from prime contractors because he is perceived as not ready. He doesn't know where his business license, certifications, insurance, and other key corporate documents are located most of the time. Lucy owns an auto body and collision repair shop and has been using a business management and procurement assistance program called Small Biz Pro to keep her business organized, business ready, contract ready, and bank loan ready. Small Biz Pro is a three-in-one cloud-based business management, procurement, and market research assistance system designed to help businesses become business ready, contract ready, and bank loan ready. It also provides back office operation solutions for small businesses. Lucy is able to stay ahead of her competitors because she uses Small Biz Pro to manage her business daily. Lucy just clicks on Small Biz Pro from her tablet, mobile phone, laptop, or any internet accessible device for data retrieval, and she's got it. Lucy introduces Larry to Small Biz Pro, and now Larry is more organized and can now find all of his documents and new bid opportunities in seconds. Larry now saves $120 in labor costs for each missing or misplaced document. Just simply go to your web browser and log into smallbizpro.net and register today for a limited 30-day free trial offer. Services start as low as $1 per day. Let's put the competition out of business. Small Biz Pro, if you stay ready, you don't need to get ready. Register now at smallbizpro.net and begin saving money. Email info at smallbizpro.net or call 626-533-1186. So we're back on the business zone with Crystal and Gilbert Buchanan, your small business paramedic, and Angela? our, our no, phenomenal no. guest, Angela, Angela Gibson Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> She's been sharing some great resources with us, and this is just phenomenal. So, so Crystal, you had a question for Angela. Yeah, right? Angela, they, uh, Black has a number of uh, events coming up, yeah, holiday too. event, and then we want her to give us your her information on how to reach out, how to uh, how to attend a Certainly. Black event, yes. and become a member of Black. Because yeah. as you can see, there's so mm -hmm. much, there's a just just a, a wealth of inf yeah. information mm -hmm. and resources there. And she's one of our community partners, right. and we thank you. Make and sure. access to you guys is also a benefit of membership with Black. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Thank you so much. So we're actually actually ending our year now and we're going to end it with a big holiday mixer and that's going to take place on Wednesday, December 13th from 5.30 to 8 p.m. at the Sheridan Gateway Hotel Los Angeles. That's located at 6101 West Century Boulevard and the entry is only a $20 unwrapped toy mm. valued at $20. That's great. We're going to collect the toys and then we're going to divide them between the Union Rescue Mission and the Parents of Watts. And oh, I know wow. lots of folks here know your uh, Sweet Alice. Yes, yeah, Sweet runs Alice that program. Is so, yeah. uh, Union Rescue Mission doing great work down there. Kitty, Davis okay. Walker, our good friend, yeah. is down there doing public relations for them. And so, serving, you know, the, the homeless and the families and children, men and women. So, we're going to uh, help make their holidays uh, more bright as well as Sweet Alice got a whole bunch of folks That's great. waiting on her to right. just bring yeah. back goodies. So, and we have a good time. We've got good food, good fun, good company for a good cause. So That's we want to invite uh, all of your folks listening to come on down and join us. Just to bring a $20 unwrapped toy and, yeah. and get in on the fun. And That's then, good. yeah. Okay, so we'll definitely be there. So the thirteenth, we, we we got our class, and then no, after we have to leave straight for the class. Yeah, Come okay, on, right. Right. right around the corner. Yeah, yeah, right around the corner. So you have another event there. Uh, so the yeah, so also just um, our big twenty fifth anniversary gala is coming up, mm. and that's our big dinner, our big black tie dinner, and that's where our big sponsors come and donate, mm -hmm. and that allows us to uh, do all the things that we do throughout the year. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, our keynote speaker was Steve Ballmer, mm. owner of the Clippers. Very we had good. Magic as keynote speaker. 
Baker and lots of folks from uh, the Obama administration during that time. That's great. So lots of movers and shakers and the latest influencers. And that takes place March 30th of March 2018. 30th. I'll put it on my calendar. Put it on your calendar. Yep. If you want to know more about all of the things that GLAC does, we invite you to join us on our website, and that's www.glac.org. Okay. Let me spell GLAC for you. Yes. That's G-L-A-A-A-C-C, G-L-A-A-A-C-C. Double C dot org. I love that. Okay. Thank right. you so much for having it's me. I had one. so much fun. Oh, so we will wonderful. put up uh, if you if you send that electronic picture of uh, of the both your event and the uh, the anniversary dinner coming up. I will yes. put it under the show, yes. and then you will get a copy of the show. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you again, Gilbert, for pinch hitting Anytime. at the November first conference. I Remember? really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Gilbert it was great. wasn't on program, but when one of our speakers was late. We <laughs> tapped him, and before I knew it, he was up on oh, stage. Oh, yeah, it doesn't take much. <laughs> See, that's He's all, always that's ready, all, man. That's He's all about ready. being ready. <laughs> that's what that's as, as an entrepreneur, <laughs> that entrepreneur <laughs> got to be ready. <laughs> so, wait a minute. I got something in my head. You know, a lot of times, yeah. Gilbert and I will be on the show, and if some of our guests uh, doesn't show up, and one time, Gilbert didn't show up, my sister's like, oh, my God, you're going to have to do the show by yourself <laughs> two whole hours of well, talking? Well, How are you going to do that? I said, girl, I teach four hours classes <laughs> I'm gonna just have a class today in fact the other day um, and this is an announcement we have not made yeah. and we want everyone to know Gilbert and I are now doing a once a month uh, show on uh, West Hollywood public access oh, yes. channel on channel 36 on cable and then I think it then goes over to AT&T U-verse at some oh, okay. point yeah. and so it's a so this one's a little bit more we got two hours to be expanded <laughs> And talk. Well, that show is literally 28 minutes, but it's really 22 minutes. <laughs> really? 22 minute segment because everything else is the, the lead in and oh. it, it's TV. So oh. it's different and it's live. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, getting ready for the big time. Oh, yeah, yeah, we get ready oh, for the yeah. big time. Much, much, so. much success to y'all. Oh, thank this you. Is fabulous. Thank Please you. invite all the folks we just talked about on for the sure. program. For I'm sure. We'll do. We'll do. Yeah. down here because this is a great uh, vehicle to yes. get the word out. Right. We really want to get the those small businesses ready and so they can go after these opportunities yes. that we just talked right. about. And we want our community to be able to leaders to come in and, and mm -hmm. talk about what they're doing mm -hmm. because this is what this access is for is Good. to be able to talk and, and, and people know beforehand what's going on in our community so we they can be better prepared. That's what it's all about. Yeah. So yeah. thanks again for to, to Miss Angela yeah. Gibson Shaw, go, <laughs> president of GLAC, and uh, we really, really enjoyed her on the show. She's a tr strategic partner, so she's welcome here anytime, anytime she you wants. Come, right? So just let us know. You're going to be we'll surprised you the who I show up when they tell me, oh, I'm going to be on the business zone. That's <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet him. <laughs> be like a Victor Parker. Hey, I'm can like, I come every uh, week? <laughs> can I be your only guest? Right. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and take a break right now, and we'll come right back with yep. our next guest.